I'm Ali Velshi with the top 10 innovations of 2010. Number 10, the rebirth of 3D. No longer is it just a drive-in oddity with those red and green cardboard and plastic glasses. In their place, incredible technology that's changing entertainment. It allows the storyteller to take the audience into uh, that film, into that storytelling, into the film experience, and it amplifies the feelings. 3D is already showing up in the biggest movies and sporting events, and it's coming to a TV near you. It is actually going to become a part of our everyday life. At number nine, look ma, no hands, and no driver either. It's Google's driverless car. It uses cameras, sensors, and lasers to see traffic. Add in the map database, and you're good to go. Just think, if you don't have to worry about actually driving, you'll have plenty of time to text, talk on the phone, and put on makeup. A malaria-proof mosquito comes in at number eight. Scientists at the University of Arizona genetically engineered the insect, making it immune to the parasite that spreads malaria. What does this mean for the world right now? Uh, well, you know, again, malaria is causing so much problems, so many problems worldwide, number of deaths, and also it's a hugely expensive disease to try to fight and treat. Uh, so by eliminating that, we could actually, hopefully, uh, at least control a major scourge of the, of the world. They still have to make a few tweaks, though, before the Skeeters are left to go into the wild. At number seven, biker chic and safety device rolled into one. This is the motorcycle jacket airbag inside a carbon dioxide cartridge. When triggered by a ripcord, the vest inflates. So I actually got to try this one out. Dave Barboza from Armored Air Products stopped by the studio to demonstrate. Are we ready to go? Ready. Wow. It protects your neck, spine, and major organs. The jackets sell for 250 bucks to 595. At number six, lungs grown in the lab. Researchers at Yale were able to grow a new set of lungs for rats, a set of lungs that really works. They hope to use it as a starting point for helping human patients suffering from emphysema or cystic fibrosis. Commercial space exploration checks in at number five, specifically SpaceX's Falcon 9. Two, one, lift off. The rocket made it through Earth's atmosphere and put a space capsule into orbit. This was an important test that puts us one step closer to commercial space travel. Number four was something I had a great time playing with. It's the Xbox Connect. The next innovation for video games lets you do away with the joystick and buttons. Jump, jump, jump. Oh. Cameras and sensors measure your movements to make you part of the game. Miraculous movement is at the heart of innovation number three. Shall we go for let's, it? Let's do it. Now there's no excuses, Ali. There's, uh, for a doctor to ever say again, you will never walk again. Because we've got bionic technology. They're called e-legs. The bionic devices can allow some paraplegics to actually walk again. The artificially intelligent limbs use sensors to determine where you want to go. And amazingly, they take you there. The rise of the electric car comes in at number two. The Nissan Leaf and the Chevy Volt were two of the biggest we heard about this year. There are limitations to these cars, like price and speed, but you can just plug in and go. Demand has pushed every major car maker to design at least one electric car. And that brings us to number one, the number one innovation of 2010. Are you here for the iPad? I am here for the iPad. It's the greatest, newest, best thing ever, man. That's right, Apple's iPad. Oh, it feels very exciting, you know, I can't believe I hold this thing in my hands. People lined up all over the world for a chance to get their hands on what Steve Jobs calls a truly magical and revolutionary product. It was designed to bridge the gap between laptops and smartphones. In the first month alone, Apple sold one million iPads. I'm Ali Velshi, and those are the top ten innovations of 2010.